Okay, let's move on to uh, feedback loops. Uh, so this is a really simple feedback network. Um, you know, I've just got the normal butterfly. Uh, I've got a fit top, uh, making it 1280 by 720. And then with a transform top, I just got a, a noise being referenced here, um, changing its translate x and y. Um, so again, I, I did this before, but how to get multiple channels in one operator. If we go over, uh, if it's got a channel tab like this, so by default, right, it's usually something like just channel one, uh, but we can write in different names like that. Uh, we can also do something like, if I did like one through eight, so that suddenly made eight different channels, all with this uh, chan prefix and then one through eight. I could do T, X, Y, Z. That's a common thing also that creates three channels. Um, but just all we care about right now, T, X, T, Y. Um, so that's that works fine. Um, OK, so let's, let's just kind of build this from scratch maybe, because we've got feedback top, um, and then composite, and then um, the kind of the origin of this whole thing is, is how it works. So let's let's just delete this stuff. Let's go ahead and delete that also. Okay. So we can just see what's happening there. So in our feedback top, nothing's happening. Uh, the very basic kind of loop that we would have here would be show that at the end okay um, this kind of triangle um, in the feedback a target top we see comp one so what happens with that is when the signal goes um, makes its way to the composite we see this little arrow here so it's teleporting itself back to feedback so it's creating this this feedback loop so with every single frame it's getting the, the new frame actually from here uh, that frame is also going to feedback stuff is happening to it goes here and then it kind of gets sent back to feedback also. So uh, we can play around with different operations, like different cool things happen. Uh, you can see with screen, uh, it's basically, you know, it's like adding more information with each frame. Let's just do over for now. Um, so the original is on, top of the feedback loop, right? So this is being uh, drawn on top of this. So if we had this opposite, see we're not gonna see it because actually the, the feedback smushy thing is, is uh, covering it up. So the cool thing happens is uh, when we start to add things in this loop. So let's insert operator and let's do like a little bit of blur and just a, just a little bit, let's say. Okay, so now we can kind of see, if I pause this for a second, um, what's uh, what's happening. So as I, I can hit plus here, I'll like progress through frame by frame. Uh, so this content right here gets sent back to the feedback, and then it goes to blur. So all that gets blurred just a little bit, goes to composite, gets sent back to feedback, gets blurred a little bit. So you can like imagine, you know, these these little pixels that are kind of way in the back, they've gone through this loop many, many, many times. And so they are very blurry. Um, the pixels that have not gone through that loop very many uh, times, it will still remain fairly sharp. Um, so within any feedback loop, you want to keep any sort of parameters tend to be very, uh, very low uh, values. And let's do, let's do another one. Let's do like a level and let's do a little like opacity, maybe 0.98. Let's see what happens. And uh, so you can see that like 98% opacity, it seems like it's like almost, um, almost 100%, right? Uh, but by going through that loop, you know, hundreds of times, uh, if you keep, you know, multiplying it by 0.98, then eventually it gets uh, very low. Um, if you remember calculus class, though, it's a kind of limit approaching zero, so it's never actually going to be opacity of zero. Um, so usually, what I do is like I just add a little gamma, also, that kind of darkens it. And that helps it kind of become a little more invisible. Uh, but that's looking kind of cool, like nice little trailing effect. 
Um, also, for let's say like cool things with like a level, there's RGBA. So every kind of loop of that feedback, let's say I want to take out a little bit of red. And let's say take out a little bit of green also. There we go. So we can see it's kind of making this, uh, this trailing more and more blue as it as it goes. Uh, and what else? Like what, what if we did, I'm gonna blur that a little bit more, maybe 0.5. And let's add a transform maybe. And so very tiny values, let's say, uh, you know, middle mouse click on scale so I can do both uh, values at once. So just up by 0 0.001. So that has a very slow little scale up now. There we go, that looks cool. And what if I did like a rotate of one? So that's, that's a bit much, 0.1. So really subtle, just kind of shift. Um, okay, so that's that's it. It's like super easy, right? Um, and you really just get, you know, you get some different effects by going into this composite and just playing around with um, the different composite uh, operations. So if I do screen, that's you know quickly kind of gets to a point where it's totally blown out. Uh, so I might want to go in here and instead of like opacity nine eight, or actually maybe I don't know, maybe I want to like lower the brightness too. I don't know, maybe pre. What is it? So you kind of just tweak it till it till you get it to the spot where it looks good. Um, the other thing I like to do is what if I added some other effect here, maybe an edge going around here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do insert. Let's do a threshold. And I'm going to look at alpha because I want a nice solid mask for my butterfly. So then edge is going to draw an outline just around the total shape. And maybe I want to do some other color. Let's say black. And if we did like another over, something like that. So whatever. Uh, so so many variations, uh, but the the basic basic structure right there. So uh, original kind of top feedback, some sort of feedback network with uh, fairly small parameter changes, all kind of coming back together into a composite. Composite uh, going back to feedback and then you can play around with variations from there.